Hello, year six. It's really nice to be back. Well, you're back. I'm obviously not there with you, but it's nice to be able to start teaching you again. And hopefully in a few weeks time, I'll be able to actually be physically back in the room with you. So I'm going to start teaching a new tune today, uh, one that uh, I think most of you will recognise and hopefully you'll enjoy learning to play. OK, it's got a few challenges in it, but that's OK. Um, so I'm going to play it to you and then we're going to go over some of the uh, some of the stuff that I hope you remember, some of the basic stuff that you learned in year five. Um, and then I'll start to teach you how to play this tune. All right. So here we go. So uh, there you go, a slightly imperfect version of a tune that you will probably know as Coffin Dance. Uh, this is a meme that was very popular early in the year featuring some Ghanaian pallbearers. Uh, pallbearers are the guys who carry coffins at funerals on, on their shoulders, but these guys do it in a very special way. Uh, they do incredible dance moves as they're carrying the coffin. It's, it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, um, check it out. Uh, so. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that uh, you should know, and then I'm going to add a few more things that you possibly don't yet know. All right. So let's remind ourselves of um, the strings. First of all, let's make sure you've got the correct guitar. Some of you are left handed. Most of you are right handed. So when you look down at the strings, the thickest string should be the one that's nearest to your face. The thinnest one nearest to the floor. OK, so if that's not what it looks like, then you might need to take a moment to sort that out. So uh, in a moment, I'm going to suggest that you pause this video so that you can sort all that out. Um, and at any time, at any time when you're getting a little confused, I might be going a little bit too fast for you. It's hard for me to tell from here because I can't see or hear what you're doing. Um, just ask for a pause and I'm sure your teacher will be able to, uh, to, to pause and you can go over anything that, uh, that you might be confused about. So uh, just pause right now and make sure everyone's got the right guitar, OK? Right, uh, hopefully that's all sorted out. The guitar should be in tune. Uh, I think you probably have to thank Mr. Harrow for that. Um, so let's just go through some stuff that you should know. So the string numbers are from the ground upwards. String one is the one nearest the floor. Play me open string one. Remind me what that note is called. E. Good. And then the second string, string two is B, string three, G, string four, D, string five is A, and string six, E. We'll be using strings four, three, two, and one for this tune, um, and we'll be doing rest strokes. So let me remind you what a rest stroke is. On string one, I'll get a little closer so you can see, I'm gonna use my index finger, and I'm going to pull the string, and my finger stops, comes to a rest on the next string, string two, like that. Do the same with my middle finger, do the same, you join, join me, let's just play walking fingers, index and middle, alternately, on string one. You doing that? Okay, now move down to string two. Walking fingers, so it's always a good warm up. string four. Very often when you play on string four, 
uh, you use your thumb. But for this tune, it makes more sense to continue using rest strokes. We'll be playing some notes in string four and using all the other three, two, and one as well. So, um, here's a new thing, all right? So last year, everything we played was in first position. In other words, if you played on fret one, it was finger one, fret two, finger two, fret three, finger three. And I had to nag several of you uh, to remind you to do that consistently. Uh, but I think we just about got the hang of that the last time I saw you all. So we're now going to play in second position. That means everything moves up one. So now finger one is going to be playing on fret two. Finger two on fret three, finger three on fret four. Got it? Yeah, good. Second position. All right. So um, I'm going to just start teaching the children from the beginning. And as I said a bit a moment ago, um, I'll take my time and, and try to pace it so, so that you can keep up. But if, if, I'm, if I'm running ahead, um, just ask for a pause so that you can take a bit of extra time to practice any part. All right, so there's some tricky bits in this. It starts with the note E. E is on string four fret two, and this time we're using finger one. And you play it twice. Now, it's gonna be walking fingers, alternately index and middle throughout couple of exceptions and the first exception is right at the start we're going to play index twice okay so we're on string four fret two and you go boom boom all right everybody do that go do it again one more time easy peasy got it good okay the next note is a b now this b is on open string two i'm going to play that with your middle finger of your plucking hand Open means no fingers pressed down up here. But it's a little tricky because you're playing from string four. You've got to skip over a string and go all the way up to string two. So let's just do that opening bit. Also, it's, it's, it's quick. After that second E, straight up to B without any uh, pause. Okay, now we're going to go slowly. We're going to, uh, when you're practicing, when you're learning a new piece, always always good practice to go slowly at first to get the hang of the notes the proper fingers the proper techniques and then in time when you get to know uh, the piece better then you can build up the tempo build up the speed so we're going to go nice and slowly so we've got two e's followed by a b and so we're doing index index on the e middle finger on the b let's do that a couple more times go on We got it? Good. Okay. Our next note is A. Now you might remember A. You've probably got a blue sticker on your guitar. It's on string three, fret two. This time we're going to use finger one because we're in second position. And then G on open string three. So we're going to play A with your index finger, G with your middle finger. Let's just do that. A, G. And again, A time A G. I'm going to put it together from the start here's how it goes all right so you might want to pause me and practice that a little bit okay we got it we're getting it okay now our next note is called F sharp this is probably new to uh, most of you there it is there, it's on string four, fret four, and we're using finger three, okay? Your ring finger for those of you who are married. String four, fret four, okay? We get to play this three times, one, two, three, and that's the rhythm, da, da, da. Okay, let's, let's do that, and we're going to go from the start, super slowly. Here we go. We got that. Let's try it again, slowly again. Okay, then we're going to go back to A 
and back to G and back to F sharp. All right, that's three notes that we played already. This time you're doing one time each. A, G, F sharp. And again, that's the rhythm. Da, da, da. One longer note, two shorter notes. Okay, and here comes the fun bit. We're going back to where we started on E, string four, fret two. And you're going to go boom, boom, just like you did at the start. Index finger twice, boom, boom. Got it? Then this happens. Yeah, we're going flying up all the way up to string one. And we're on frets three and two. And it goes three, two, three, two, three. Make sure you can see this hand. Okay, so I've got walking fingers. Starting with the middle and going middle, index, middle, index, middle. Now watch what I'm doing with this hand. My finger one is going to stay down. Finger two starts on, goes off, on, off, on. But finger one stays where it is. Okay, you might find just doing that. You can. That will still work. But that, that takes a lot more energy than you actually need to use. So sometimes it's good to, to uh, economise with the movement, as we call it. All right? to save yourself a bit of uh, bit of extra energy. It's hard enough. Got that, all right? So let's just practice that little, little bit. This is G, it's a high G and a high F sharp, all right? We've, we're playing two different Gs and two different F sharps. So when we're playing these ones, we'll refer to them as, as high, meaning high pitch, all right? So we're going to fret three, two, three, two, three. All right, just practice that a few times. Okay, we got that. Now, the tricky bit is playing the low note E down here and going straight up to that high G because you're going all the way from string four all the way up to string one. And again, it's quick, all right? You don't have much time to do that. So that's worth practicing quite a few times. So let's go super slow. Just do that little bit, all right? Because so, when you do it, when you come to do it, you get to do it twice. So you go boom, boom, high, repeat. So I'll do that again, slower this time. I keep promising to do it slower and then I do it fast. I'm sorry about that. Let's go a bit slower. Here we go. Okay, now we've covered the main theme. Um, there is another couple of parts to go, um, but uh, let's just go through what we've got so far, okay? So. And then we're going to repeat that whole thing two more times. part which goes like this and then we repeat the whole thing so I'm just going to do that again I want you to count okay so I play a sequence of four notes and I play them the same number of times each and then I play one note for a lot longer all right so my two questions are those first four notes, how many times do I play them each? And then the one that, that, that is played lots of times, how many times am I playing that note? So here we go. Okay, you got your answers? So in the first case, it's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the long one, how many times did you say 12? 12 is the correct answer. So well done, those of you who said 12. Uh, so 
walking fingers are going to be really, really important. If you try to do it all with one finger, which I know lots of you like to do, it's just not going to be possible. You're just going to wear that finger down to a, a little stump. You, need, you really need to use both of them, okay? So these uh, notes in this bit are, are notes that you should know from year five. We've got two open strings, G and B, string three, and then string two. So we've got walking fingers on string three, like that, okay? Give me that, G, index middle, index middle, and then we're doing the same on B. Let's just put, do those together. G, B. Do it again. G, B. Then our next note is A, which I'm still playing with finger one. Blue, blue spot on your guitar. Again, index, middle, index, middle. And then we've got a D for the first time in this tune, which is yellow sticker, string two, fret three. You might be hearing in the background, by the way, this is my dog, Elsa, who'd like to, uh, to join in making this video. She's uh, tiptoeing around the place and uh, saying hello to, uh, to you and to the squirrel in the garden. So we've got G, B, A, D. And then the one that we play for 12 times is open string one, E. Now, when you have a lot, a lot of notes to play in music, what we tend to do is uh, divide it up. Rather than trying to count to 12, we, uh, we chop it into groups of four in this case. Uh, so we count four three times. So we count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, that's easier than trying to count all the way up to 12, okay? So we're gonna put all that together, G, B, A, and D each four times, and then E 12 times. Here we go. Then we come to the little bit that finishes the piece off and brings it round to the start of the repeat. So we've got four different notes, each played one time each, and the notes are A, again, String three fret two, G open string three, F sharp, string four fret four, and for the first and only time D, that's a low D this time, which is open string four. Okay, so that's A, G, F sharp, D. I'm doing index, middle, index, middle. The whole of this section, it's all alternate fingers, okay? So please, 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 please try to do that. Do yourself a favour. Don't try to do it with one finger. Trust me, you won't want to have a little stumpy index finger at the end of the day. So the whole bit goes G, B, A, D, E. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A, G, F sharp, D, which brings us round to thing okay so that is it cough and dance all right enjoy learning this one and i look forward to hopefully seeing you properly uh, sometime soon okay so take care and uh, enjoy learning this tune all right bye bye